how to use Dashlane to protect your data and password. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Dashlane, how you can use Dashlane to protect all your data for your family and team. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to dashlane.com and you will land right here on this platform. When it comes to our team or our family, we have a lot of different platforms and a lot of different documentation in order to save our data, our medical reports, our credit cards and more. But using Dashlane, we can eliminate the hassle of going through all of these things and we can save everything, all of our data in one place with a master password. So let's get started. Let me show you how you can sign up for Dashlane and how you can use Dashlane to protect your data. Now, once you are on the website, you will find the option of login or get Dashlane. You can get it for yourself or for your business. When you get it for your business, that means that you can actually protect the data of your company and you will be able to share it with your team or you can use it for personal use. I'm going to go ahead and click on for you. And I will get Dashlane for myself or maybe my family. I will be protecting all of my information here. Now, what we need to do is we need to add an extension. Dashlane extension is available on Google Chrome. So I have Google Chrome. I'm going to just click on add to Chrome. There you go. Click on add extension and it will take a few seconds to download. Once it's downloaded, then it will be added as an extension on our Google Chrome and I will be able to save all my passwords very easily with just one click. Once you have added the extension now, we will enter our email address, of course, to get started. Now you have to create a master password for your Dashlane. This is how you will be logging into your Dashlane. I will go ahead and enter a reasonable password. Click on create my account. So this is our dashboard of Dashlane and it's a very simple looking platform, very easy to use, not that complicated. And we have all the basic features that we need. Let me show you around the dashboard. So we have a get started. If you have create, just created an account, then it will show you a few of the steps that you need to do. Then we have the password option. So in password, what I can do is I can save all of my passwords and if I am trying autofill all of my password that i'm saving will be saved here then we have the payments in payments i can add my credit cards and banking information then we have a secure note and in here i can add my important notes i can share them or create um, such as our wi-fi passwords or access codes we have personal information and in personal information we can enter our email address so, or you can also enter your other things if you want to, but this is mainly for emails. Then we have IDs and in IDs, I can enter my passport or any ID that I have, any uh, different ID cards that I own. I can add the information right here. And then we, of course, we have the sharing center. So sharing center means that maybe if it's a security cord or something else, I can share it with my family and they will also be able to access this information here. Let's get started with the passwords. To enter a password right here on Dashlane, you can click on this add new button or you can also click right here. Once you click on add password, you can select the website. Now we can also enter a website uh, of our own choice, but we can also go ahead and, you know, enter any of these. Let's go ahead and quickly select Facebook. What you have to do is you can open the selected website and in here I will be entering my password. So we have our Facebook. You have to enter your Facebook details now because we want to add our email, our password to our Dashlane. I have entered my email address and now all I need to do is enter my password right here on Facebook and Dashlane will get it because it's also an extension right there. You can see Dashlane is also an extension and I can pin it or unpin it anytime I want to. Uh, we have opened our Facebook. Now I will simply enter my password. I will log in and the information you can see right here, this icon right here, this is from Dashlane lane and it will be saved right here on our password section so that is how you simply can pick any of the websites you want to or you can also enter more websites you want because it only has the basic ones you can also select the website 
for example, you can click on add new. Uh, for the first time, they will actually suggest you, but then you can add the URL right here, login information, password, name, category, note, click on add password and a new password will be added. I have added my Google password right here. Then we have the payment option. Click on add new. I can add a credit card or a bank account. I'm going to go with a credit card. So what you have to do is enter your credit card name. Then, of course, you will enter your credit card number, uh, whatever number you have. And then what you can do is you can add your security card or whatever it was. And then you can add the date on your card, name of the card, whatever name it is. If it's a, let's say that it's a MasterCard, so I'm going to add that. Or you can add the name of the bank as well. Then we have the color. So we can change different color for our different cards so that we would be able to organize and customize our dash lane experience it's really easy to use click on save and a new card will be saved right here and it will show you the last four numbers that is how you simply add a card and now i can just add as many cards as i like you can see next we have secure notes i'm going to click on add new and here i can just type in any notes that i want to so this is just for the notes and i can enter a title let's say new okay click on save and a new note will be added right here then we have personal information so in personal information they have already added my information this is for the autofill um for example i need to add personal information on a website and they're asking for my name and my email address um it can be added from here so that is how we simply add the information click on add new and then you can add your name address company let's go with another name and so i can select miss and then i'm gonna add there you go we have the middle name and then we can also enter a date of birth of course click on save there you go now we have more information similarly i can add email address we can add company and websites moving on we have ids so in id uh, we can again click on add new and it will allow me to add an id card social security number driver's license password or tax number let's go with id card what we need to do is i'm just gonna add my name and add a number then we have the issue date so issue date was actually 4th of february and it was in 2007 while the expiration date is 9 2 there you go so this is my id card you can en enter any information click on save and it will be saved right here and that is how you can add an id card on dashed lane uh, you will simply hover over to all of these different details and enter your password payment personal id and sharing card it's really really uh, easy to use and you will be able to get save all of your data easily using dashed lane so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use dashlane to save all your data and passwords don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel